welcome to my youtube channel thank you so much for your subscription for your support on my previous videos the support you've shown me on tiktok on facebook by sharing the tips there i decided to since those tips have inspired a lot of people to start their weight loss journey and i decided to come up with something so amazing and something you all need which will solve your problem and i've decided that i'm going to have a weight loss group coaching session whereby you are going to lose five kgs in 30 days without exercising at all and i'm inviting all women who want to lose weight using my program to join it is going to start in 1st September and it's worth 3,000 bob only, 3,000 shillings only. So if you want to join that group, make sure you secure your slot early enough. I am only left with four slots so far. So uh, for this video, I'm continuing with the tips from day 12 to day 18 and the first on day 12, the tip was believe and just get to work. Yes, because most of the time we find ourselves thinking that it's not possible to lose weight and we have given up and said, ah, um, I'm, I've just given up. Mm? And we find some quotes like, we are going to be given new bodies in heaven. Now, I don't need to comment like that while I'm here. And I can make your dream come true. So on day 13, rest, recharge, and rejuvenate. This is one thing, this is one thing we go wrong most of the time. We work, 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 repeat, work, repeat. And then we forget that for us to work effectively, we need to take a break. And by not taking a break, we find ourselves being stressed 24-7 and that only can make you not to achieve your weight loss journey. So schedule resting, recharging, and plugging, and make it intentional, okay? Day 14, green teas and crunches will never give you a flat tummy. Nutrition only will, yes. And this is one thing I've been preaching for the longest time, and that's why this is actually what inspired me to start this challenge for group coaching so that I can show you how nutrition works on when you want to lose weight and to master that hack on exercising or doing workout workouts will not make you lose weight. So kindly make sure you join my group, weight loss group coaching session. Make sure you're on the waiting list because this is going to be exceptional okay yes day 15 we made it like that was like uh appreciating you all for following up on my tea following me from day one up to day 15 it's not easy that was the middle of the the challenge i can say so i was trying to motivate all of you so that I remind you that we have 15 more days to go for me to share the tips. Day 16, snack less. And if you must snack, take a whole fruit. The reason why snacking is not recommended is because it makes you not to be satisfied. or It doesn't give you satiety uh, as much as whole food does. So when you, you snack, you you won't be full and that will encourage you to keep snacking and snacking and snacking and the more you are snacking the more you are consuming more calories so if you have to snack make sure you are snacking on a whole fruit okay yes you are bloated because you eat less fibrous vegetables and some of these fibrous vegetables are vegetables which are very rich in fiber. And we said fiber is one thing which helps us prevent constipation. Yes, and all bloating. 
So some of these vegetables which will help you to eliminate bloating and constipation are carrots, cucumbers, gorgeous, any types of cabbage, white and red, lentils, green leafy vegetables, you see? Yeah, all those vegetables will help you not to stay bloated. So make sure you eat more colors. Make sure you eat more vegetables, which will make your diet rich in fiber. Yes, and you won't be bloated most of the time. The acne on your nose right here the acne which comes right here it's an indication of hormonal imbalance and women we have a lot of things which makes us to have even bloating or hormonal imbalance especially when we are about to get our periods but it's one thing you really need to know get to know when when does your body start changing like when am I expecting my hormones to be imbalanced and how am I supposed to cope with that? And when we are about to uh, get our periods, due to hormonal imbalance, we start craving for sugars and all that. So it's very important for you to learn your body and to listen to your body, to understand your body so well in that if you're on your weight loss journey, it won't interfere with your goals okay yes day 17 taking lukewarm water with cinnamon lemon and ginger you can add some honey it will boost your metabolism and speed up your weight loss journey so you can decide to be taking that first thing in the morning when you wake up take that water every day and see how it will go okay so that the next tip is skipping meals will only make you eat more yes and that's why i discourage starving as much as possible most people think that when they skip meals they're going to make their weight loss journey easier or faster but believe you me when you skip meals i said your body will be on survival mode and it will it is going to store more fats and if you're trying to lose weight, you won't lose it because your body is on survival mode. And if it's storing fats and we are trying to burn fats, you see, that will not be possible. So stop skipping meals or rather starving. The next tip is changing small habits every day and sticking to that will make you achieve your goals. Weight loss is a package. And it's a combination of small, small habit changes, which you do every day consistently until you master them and you achieve your goals. So that's why I decided to share those tips, small, small tips every day. You do them every day until you achieve that. So if you master the small, small tips or small, small habits and train yourself and stick to that, believe you me you are going to attain your goal tip number 18 or date 18 you are craving for that sugar and wheat most people are slaves to that but do you know why you crave for sugar or wheat it's because you have linked that habit with an emotion Wherever you feel sad, wherever you feel angry, wherever you feel bored, wherever you feel stressed, you run to sugar. You run to wheat. And remember, that is connected with stress hormone, the cortisol hormone. When I said when it's very high, your sugar levels goes down and that's why you start craving for sweet or sugary things. So still, it's very important to be intentional on realizing why do I crave for sugar? Why do I feel like taking wheat? Why do I feel so? If you understand why, you'll find that most of these cravings you have, you only link them with an emotion. So deal with that habit and you will no longer slave to cravings anymore. 
And if you crave for something, you will be able to control yourself, not to go directly to, directly to satisfying the craving. Okay? Yes. So, those were the tips for this week. So, if you want to be coached on my group, kindly make sure you join very us up because the slots are limited and there are a lot of people who truly want to be coached. If you feel that like you like if you feel like you want to be able to join us on this first september you can still pay prior so that i can you can join on the next slot on october because this is something which is going to be continuous and it's going to be going for monthly if you don't feel like being coached in a group there's a there's still a one-on-one -on -one coaching session and that one you will have to book for a call so that we will talk and have a conversation about the charges and the terms i will share the link below on how you are going to book that call with me and how you will join that group coaching session so don't forget to subscribe to my channel follow me on instagram on fit by jackie Facebook, I'm Jackie Mwema, and on TikTok, I'm still Jackie Mwema. So click that uh, bell or notification bell so that you will be notified every time I'm going to upload a new video. Subscribe kindly and share with your friends and have a fantastic week. Bye.